Hunter Biden is asking a Los Angeles judge today to dismiss criminal tax charges against him. He's arguing the case is politically motivated. Prosecutors say he failed to pay nearly one and a half million dollars in taxes between 2016 and 2019. Now keep in mind, this case is separate from the criminal gun charges he also faces. Biden pleaded not guilty in both cases. CBS News investigative reporter Erica Brown is following this for us from our DC bureau. Erica, talk to us about Hunter Biden's argument here. What, is it likely to be effective? What is, what is he saying? Well, Hunter Biden's attorneys are arguing that these charges are compromised by politics. They point to that plea agreement and that diversion agreement that unraveled in federal court last year that included two misdemeanor tax charges as well as a diversion agreement uh, that referenced separately a firearms charge. But they point to that agreement and said that once that was made known, Republicans had launched this partisan political uh, pressure campaign to uh, convince the Justice Department that they needed to pursue more severe charges against against Hunter Biden and so that they said that the charging decisions after that plea agreement unraveled uh, was directly impacted by politics and that this was politically motivated. Now the special counsel's office has slammed that argument saying that politics played absolutely no role on this case, no role on the facts of this case uh, and that former President Trump nor congressional Republicans have any influence over whether uh, special counsel Weiss brings charges, whether or not Attorney General Garland allocates resources for this investigation. Investigation. Uh, and so the special counsel Weiss's office says blatantly that's not the case. But that's going to be a key central argument from Hunter Biden's attorneys. He's made that same argument in motions to dismiss in Delaware relative to the gun charges. But the big thing here for him is that this is all about politics, it's compromised by politics, uh, and that Republicans have played a large role in pursuing severe charges against Hunter Biden. And Erica, I'm curious about uh, the incident back in August when a plea deal fell apart in this case. Lana, I think we were right we here were. sitting, anchoring while viewers watched it happen live. Can you remind us why that fell apart and how it might be relevant? Sure. So that plea agreement fell apart last year after a federal judge questioned the terms. As I mentioned, that plea agreement included two misdemeanor tax charges. It also included a diversion agreement referencing a firearms charge. And a federal judge had questions about whether or not that would shield Hunter Biden from any future potential charges. Federal prosecutors and Hunter Biden's attorneys simply could not agree on whether or not that would be the case. And so the federal judge did not accept that agreement. But Hunter Biden's attorneys are saying, well, they signed it, federal prosecutors signed it, and so it's legally binding. This is something uh, that should still be held in effect. But mm -hmm. the special counsel's office is saying, well, the U.S. probation did not approve it. It's not in effect. And so this is another one of those arguments that will be before Judge Scarcy in California this afternoon. And Erica, House Republicans have tried to use this case to support their impeachment inquiry into President Biden, but that's also had some significant setbacks recently. So talk to us about where those efforts stand. Yeah, so House Republicans have uh, launched this inquiry into President Biden now over a year ago. Part of it was whether or not the president had personally benefited from his family's businesses, namely Hunter Biden and James Biden, his brother's uh, business dealings, both foreign and domestic. As of now, more than a year later, they've yet to produce any evidence directly implicating the president. Uh, but another thing was whether or not there was any obstruction into investigations into the president's son. And so they have also not provided any evidence yet implicating the president. And so uh, Chairman Comer has signaled that he's going to culminate this investigation with criminal referrals as opposed to articles of impeachment, which right now does not have the support of his own party. Mm. All right. A comprehensive update there from our Erica Brown. Erica, thank you.